Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, J. Kales. So what I'm cooking today. So actually, I'm, this is going with a pork chop sandwich that I'm cooking, but I know there's a lot of people in the world that do not eat pork. But I'm going to add onion rings to that sandwich. And I know a lot of people that do not eat pork eat onion rings. So I sort of split the video for people that just want the recipe on how to make onion rings, beer, bad onion rings. And if you don't drink beer, guy. I have friends that don't eat pork and don't drink beer. Y'all know what they are, and I love them. I don't care. So if you're one of my friends that do not drink liquor and does not eat pork, um, use Odul's or anything like that. Odul's doesn't have alcohol. I mean, it's like 1%. I don't know if that. I don't know if that's borderline for you, and I don't want to be disrespectful, so I will not even make it a joke. Um, so if you can't do the Odul's either, then well, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, now these are cold onions. I have, I put these in the uh, refrigerator for about a good 30, 40 minutes so they can go ahead and chill. That helps dry them up as well. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna go ahead and peel these babies. Peel them. I have to move quick because y'all know I, I don't, I don't, I like to put my onions in water. But with the onion rings, you want them to be a little bit dry, so you don't want to put it in the water. I'll rinse it off a little bit, but that's it. Next, I'm going to slice them about a quarter to a half an inch thick. I just have flour here. I have a mix of spices as well. I'm gonna add that to the batter. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it to season the batter nice and good. Perfect. And now with the beer, I found that Yingli works well. Uh, as long as it's a dark beer, it should be okay. But I know I've tried like the Newcastle Brown Ale. It didn't work as well, but this was one that I tried that I liked, so I sort of stuck with the yingling. So pour a little at a time. Okay, so this is the batter. It looks great. So it's ready to go ahead and be drenched. I have my oil. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back up. I didn't turn it down, so I don't want the oil to burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oil back up and I'll be with you all in one moment. Okay, the oil's preparing. I have my onions back. I'm gonna go ahead and start separating them and dipping them inside of the batter. Not stir, I'm just gonna sort of try to get the mixture all over. I don't wanna break them, I want nice good rounds. Onion rings cook extremely fast, so it's best to have as much prepared as possible. So uh, to not stress yourself out, just go ahead and get as many battered as you can. Like this is all I can batter for now. So I'm going to stop here, but after I get the first in, I'm gonna go ahead and add more of the onion rings. So our batter is ready. I'm going to go ahead and just drop them in. Try to make sure you put ones in that have that batter all around it. You want a nice coating in that onion ring. Nice, nice coating. Okay. 
eventually make it to the bottom so try to grab the ones at the bottom because that's going to give the best breading and you definitely want a good breading on your onion ring you want a nice crunch I know I do These babies good. Mm, try one for the people. Okay. Don't mean a little bit. She she doesn't really like the camera right now, but it's okay. The baby's good, ain't it? And that's approval from a teenager. You might not get a word, but you got approval. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. These are perfect. Y'all want to know the reason why after you cook? You don't eat because you do this right here. You eat as you go. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. Onion rings are done. Perfectly fried golden brown onion rings. Again, it's a very simple recipe. Um, you're just going to make sure, make sure, please make sure you do put the onions inside of like the refrigerator or the freezer so they can chill because it's going to dry them up a little bit. And you just slice them. You Season your flour. You know what I'm saying? Season the flour, slice the onions, pour the beer inside, whisk, 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 whisk. Slowly with the beer, add the onions, put them in a the fryer. Perfect. You know, I love the onion ring sauce that they have at restaurants. But, like, call me plain. I love my onion rings with just plain old ketchup. So, I'm going to dip mine in ketchup. And I really hope you like my video. Again, this is how you make homemade beer batter onion rings quickly with yingling. If I drank yingling, I would finish this beer, but I don't. So, I let my boyfriend have a rest. Not going down the sink because I don't like him today. Um. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching my channel. Subscribe now. Please click the little bell and everything else included. Thank you so much. Peace from J. Kales.